Now we will simulate battlefield conditions. Oh shit! Alright guys, uh, I thought today maybe do something a little bit different, go over uh, some basics of uh, squad, kind of give you a little overview, kind of a glance at some of the weapon systems uh, for the Americans and show you uh, some basics, kind of, uh, you know, do an overview on gunfighter skills and, and uh, you know, show you how the weapons perform and give you some basic tips on uh, how to survive a gunfight in squad. Um, so let's get started. First and foremost, you have your M4. Now the M4 for the Americans uh, fires a 5.56 millimeter uh, round and you have the ability to go uh, fully automatic or single shot. There are a few different variants. This one is mounted with a aim point they have uh, other versions with ACOGs and iron sights and from what I understand there's going to be more optics but for now that is kinda what you're uh, you're limited to. Um, there are a couple different ways that you can uh, use your weapon in game. Uh, you can fire from the hip which as you can see you can hit which you know you can hit targets from the hip Um, you know, I mean, it's obviously, it's very possible, especially on the full auto mode. However, fundamentally, that is not recommended. However, at this range, if that's all you got, let them have it. Now, more times than not, even if you're running full auto, you're going to want to use the sights. You're going to have a lot more control and stability. I mean, I was able to get all of these targets down with one magazine. And you have another fire mode, or uh, another ability, a uh, way to aim, is while you're aiming down the sights, you can actually take your time, hold your breath, and control the weapon a little bit more stable. It gives you a little bit, you know, closer uh, aim down the sight, you, you know. And uh, obviously that's recommended more for engaging targets at distances as opposed to ones at close range. Although, I mean, obviously you're more than welcome to use them at close range. There's nothing stopping you from doing that at all. Now here's something to consider. What is faster, reloading or drawing a sidearm? So, we're going to burn through this, then I'm going to do a magazine reload and continue engaging targets. Magazine! So, as you see, I went, did the magazine change, started re-engaging targets as they popped up. And that's, you know, normally magazine, I'm out. So that's normally what you would do. Notice how I'm saying magazine. What I'm doing is, is that's a habit. Even though I'm playing by myself, I'm not playing with others, I still like to do that. And the reason for that is, I know in my head it's muscle memory. I'm training my brain that every time that I hit the R button, I'm saying magazine. Um, the reason that I'm doing that is, is I need to let people know in my proximity that I'm reloading. That is why I'm not shooting. I'm not dead. I, that doesn't mean I don't have a target. That doesn't mean I'm not paying attention. I'm letting you know what I'm doing. So for that second, you know that you cannot count on me to do anything except reload my weapon. However, in this situation, I'm trying to demonstrate fundamentally which is better, drawing a weapon or reloading, or drawing to your sidearm or reloading. So let's look. I'm going to press R to reload right now. Magazine! 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004. 1005. About five seconds it took me to get weapon on target, and I did not even aim. That was a hip shot, just to be able to get, just to be able to get around downrange. That's all I was trying to do. 
So we know it takes five seconds to fire the weapon. So now what we're going to do is we're going to simulate a dry weapon. And then we're going to draw the sidearm. And we're going to get targets. Magazine! That seemed a little faster than five seconds, didn't it? Let's see how long that was. Go to pistol. Look at that. That is certainly much faster. We're going to go 1,001, 1,002. I'm able to get a round down range in about a second. 1,001, 1,002. And obviously the pistol at this range is a very, very formidable uh, to come across. Especially because this is how a gunfight's going to work out. This is how it's going to go down. You're going to come into a room and you're going to see somebody. And you're going to see him. You're going to fucking let him have it. You're not going to kill him. You're going to get your pistol out. And it's going to be very quick. You're not going to sit around. It's not any of that. Like Even that was a hesitation just for demonstration purposes. So that's how a gunfight's going to be. You know, it's not going to be obviously this controlled bullshit. It's going to be... Fuck, 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 That's what it's going to be. So that's why it's important to remember. In your brain, you're going to think, I'm out of ammo, I need to reload. That's the fastest alternative. But in reality, you need to think, I'm out of ammo, get my pistol out. And that's if you have one. Obviously, not every class has one, so you need to remember. If you're a squad leader especially, you need to remember.